is Hans, and it's time for another episode of It's Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today we've got one. Uh, this comes from Indonesia. Thanks to Ferengi. Thank you very much. This is Mi Sadap with their Mi Goreng Ayam Bakar Limau, which basically means grilled chicken with lime flavor. So that's not too hard to figure out, and that's what is happening today. No, you can't get this in the U.S. Nope. Sorry. Nope. I'm really lucky because I have people who are fellow noodle aficionados around the world who are kind enough to send me stuff, so that's pretty cool. Noodle Block, there are a myriad of different seasonings with this one. But, uh, let's get her going. So it is Thursday, a kind of weird week. It felt like yesterday with my wife being home and all the kids being home. It just seemed like it must be Sunday. It just felt really odd, but now it's Thursday. And my son wasn't feeling good, and on, what, Tuesday... He stayed home, so I guess, I guess if you're gonna have kids that aren't feeling well, I guess this is the right time to do it because I don't know if he would have been going to school anyways. So. Yeah. Noodles. Yeah. What's been going on in the news? Uh, we keep lobbing missiles at Yemen and they keep getting cranky about it and I saw a video with like the biggest crowd I've ever seen of human beings all in one spot all doing the same kind of thing and they were really like nah dude not cool so we'll see I, I don't know. You've already seen what's going on with that, if that's even in the news anymore. It's kind of weird. It's like, oh my god, this crazy, crazy stuff is going on right now. And then what happens? It's like a week later, and it's like, whatever happened with that? I don't know. It's like, they briefly mentioned the, uh, there was that big fire in Hawaii, and they mentioned that on the news the other day. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot all about that. Well, it's like the people who live there didn't forget all about it. So. But yeah, weird stuff. Actually, the big news right now, locally, I live in a small town called Kenmore, and they want to build this thing that, I don't know if it's for homeless people or elderly people, but it's supposed to be like 100 units of housing and it'll be like a nice building that'll work for like at least 50 years and blah 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 blah. Anyways, people are losing their freaking minds about it. It's just like, wow. We don't want those kind of people here. Not in my backyard. Keep them off away. You're gonna ruin the lighting for the library. It's really silly. And they're just all getting more and more bent out of shape. I won't be surprised if somebody ends up dead because of it. Somebody, like, disagrees and they just, like, lose their minds. Who knows? Who freaking knows? But whatever. I don't want it to turn into Seattle. That's the big, that's, like, their favorite one. It's going to just turn into Seattle here with all the homeless people. Like, I don't know. You're getting a little worked up. Simmer down a little bit, you know. Freaking weirdos. I don't know. It's like, oh, it's going to ruin our downtown business core. It's like, they don't... What, what are you talking about? I don't know. I like it here. But what's funny about it is the way people kind of romanticize Kenmore. It's like urban sprawl. It's, it's, it's on the way from, like, the east side to the west side. We're like right in the middle. So I don't I don't see it as like this this amazingly crazy wonderful you know I like it here but the city I could give 
two craps about it. You know? We've got trails that go around here. Is that a Kenmore thing? No, that's like a regional thing. So, I don't know, but... That just makes me want to drop off the face of the earth. But yeah. But then again, all these people that are whining about it, they're all on Facebook. And Facebook, I really don't believe to be indicative of actually what's going on in any way, shape, or form. It's like, it's a place for people to give their opinion, and they do that a lot, even if it's really like not informed or not, and then people will take something, go go here and there and everywhere with it, so, you know. Where do you get your news? Oh, I get it on Facebook. Oh! I trust the news I get on Facebook. I mean, granted, if, like, a news agency is doing a post, that's one thing. But if it's Jimmy from down the street he said, I saw these people, they had cheese all over their faces, and they were running amok. Thanks, Joe Biden. You know, something like that. It's like, yeah. We've got weirdos here, too. There's a guy who has a car that he parks in front of City Hall that says, Joe Biden sniffs kids. I'm not kidding. Like, what the freaking... What's the other one? There's another one that has like, uh, like, I don't know. This guy's got like such a, he's been sold. He's not today's Tom Sawyer. That's for certain. His mind is for rent for, for the Trumpian government. It's a shame. But what do you do? Plenty of humans. Plenty of humans. I heard some interesting news, speaking of pretty, plenty of humans last night. Um, India has surpassed the population of uh, China. China is no longer the most uh, country with the most population in it. Did you know that? I thought that was something. I did not expect I would hear that on the news last night. And I enjoyed that hearing that because that was something that was a that's a valuable piece of data so I have that data at my disposal now and I will use it as necessary it's good to have data all right I just tasted the seasoned oil and it has no salt in it I got a little bit of kind of Odd lime flavored oil with little specks in it. Alright, so here is our Mi Sadap Ayam Bakar Limau. Sounds interesting to me. Let's give it a sampling. That's like I like that. All right. That's good. I like this whole citrusy me garang action that I've been getting to try lately. I, I like that a lot. I'm going to use this flowery plate. This has these little crispy bits. I like the crispy bits. I might actually have to add this to my insides in its entirety today. Oops, hey, come back. That's good. That is quite good. Okay, come on, egg.
There you go. That is an egg. Um, what else do we want to do to this? Uh, I would normally add something like coriander, but I I don't know. I'm I'm kind of streamlining my stuff, and it's to the detriment of some niceties, but not so bad. It's like when I do eggs, like fried egg, you don't marinate that, but you know the other egg, the magical eggs. I, I kind of gave up on marinating them because there's so often that has some crushed red pepper. Um, so often. I end up with ones that I don't use during the week and then they just go to waste. So I figure I might as well just do them up. And sorry, they don't have that nice color to them, but I think we can live without that to a slight degree. Here's some fried onion. Right on top. Uh, I wanna go with some sesame seeds. I mean, I could do them around here, but I, I, don't, I don't think they belong. I don't think that's a necessity. Grilled chicken? Sesame seeds? Ah! Okay. Mm. Why not? We'll do it. A little offset. Why not? Yeah. It's not much, but you might see it in the photo if you're looking closely. So there you go. Anyways, uh, Rotato, do your uh, do your stuff. Zen Pop box. Go to zenpop.jp. Use the coupon code the Ramen Raider for a discount. This is a Yamadai New Touch Shashu uh, Ramen. So that will be on the next episode of its Noodle Recipe Time. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider. Wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye bye.